When I was a teacher, I taught 7th, 8th, and 9th in grade English. And I thought my job was to catch the students doing it wrong. I thought I gave them a test, then I found what was wrong, and then I talked to them about what was wrong. That was when I was an English teacher and I wanted to work with the kids who were gifted or bright and that we thought, and so really I didn't have to teach. I wanted to be a guide. Then I started working with struggling adults and I realized I really had to teach and as a volunteer. And the adults had been beaten down so much. They didn't, they didn't know what, they just knew they were gonna do it wrong. They just expected to do things wrong. I'm gonna do something, I'm just gonna at least say something positive about what the student did and call it positive error correction. I'm gonna say something positive when a person makes an error because it is very rare that a student makes a mistake intentionally without something there that's the reason. Now occasionally you get the class clown and then my positive error correction was, that was really funny. Um, you are funny. Okay, what's the first sound? Um, probably changed my teaching and made me have better rapport with students. And I learned this with adults, that I needed to open their brains, not to say, oh, we've been working on this for five weeks and you still can't remember the short A sound, to say, you got that consonant sound and you got that consonant sound. What's that vowel sound? And over 20 years, I have worked really hard to when anyone gives me an answer that's wrong, to find what's right about that answer. And it's become um, habit for me now. But it took me about five years to get it to be habit. I'd have to pause and think, oh my gosh, this student read, the word is bid, and they read sack. I would have to say, this word has three sounds and you read a word with three sounds. I mean, it, you have to look for it, but there is something there. And then my brain goes, oh my gosh, I'm having him do something way hard. Why is he reading bid as sack? I better figure out what to do because I'm not teaching right. So positive error correction has a really good effect on my student, but it's almost a better effect on me because it makes me pay attention to what they know and what they don't know and I can pinpoint where I need to teach.